Yo, what is up guys? This is Nickel Gaming here and we are back after being gone for a long time. Um, today I want to discuss what the true purpose of the anti gadoid gun is due to the fact that I have a video and people keep watching it. I figured it would probably be best to update it and actually show you the true purpose because the one that I explained in the video is completely wrong. But if you look at when I made the video to when the DLC came out, the DLC came out after I made the video. So at the time there was no use for all you people out there trying to correct me it wasn't a DLC thing yet so in this video I hope to uh, show you all the locations to get the mystery items and show you the uh, alien anti gadoid gun and uh, show you its true use and hopefully you enjoy the video and uh, see you at the end okay we're at the first location currently uh, the rock is located over in the countryside uh, if you go to the very left of the map you should see this little building it's got a hunting tower nearby and uh, down inside the cavern uh, will be your rock I'll show you now to do all this you got to make sure you stay in like you can't just get a rock and then save and then decide you'll come back another time like you actually gotta uh, do this all in one run so just make sure you do that if you do then you'll be just fine and you won't have to worry about anything so just keep that in mind see here is the first one the unknown strange rock this is location number one go to the bottom down here and you'll find it okay what is up guys we're with number two which is located if you look at the safe house right there got a road right here and it's right there at the bottom of that so we're gonna run up there give it our best shot see what happens there we go thank you And there we go. Okay, what is up guys? We are at our third location. If you look in the map, over here, kind of markers, and then when you get here, you'll see this big area. You're gonna go down in this well. And then see it right there. Okay, this is like number four. Uh, this is gonna be a quick one because I'm on like the hardest difficulty, so it's kind of hard. But here's the rock. See the bridge? It's the rock, and on the map, we're right here, top left, up here. Okay, guys, if you'd like to know where this one is, it is all the way up in the top right middle, sort of. So you'll go up to this and it'll enter a little uh, tunnel and then you'll go into the tunnel and you can see on the map basically where you'll be going. And you'll just go over here, run all the way to the back. Okay, look around. You'll have to fight pretty hard to get back here, but yeah, it's way in this back corner. You'll fight to the back of this, very back. Good luck. Okay, guys, we have another location. This one's a tad bit easier, pretty close. We're in the same map location. You're just gonna get right in the eye of Coberry. You're probably gonna have to swim out here, so. Look at my rock I'm standing on. You see the buoy, the fence. There you go. You should see the rock You're welcome. right there. There we go. Okay, guys, here's another stone location. Look, it's about down here. You're looking inside the city, right here at the map. And it is that eye of that rooster. Yeah. 
Okay, guys. Another location. Here we are. Close to the last one. Just go out in the water a bit. And you'll see all these rocks. Right here. That'll be the one on the far right. And there you go. Okay, guys. Here's another location of a rock. Sort of in the bottom of the map. Right here. And then you'll see these boats right here. And... Oh. <coughs> It's this one. You're welcome. Okay, guys, we have number 10. This is rock number 10. We are almost to the end. Here it is uh, for surroundings. You're going to be right here towards the bottom of the map. Right here. And so you know where it's at. There's a tree down there. There's this tree right here. And that's where it's located. Okay, guys, we have place number 11 right next to the last one just goes to the silo tower you'll see this big water tower and the rocks right here on the great pretty easy find okay guys we have our 12th location it is to the right you're gonna go to the edge of that little cliff area you're gonna see that little walk ledge right here and you have this now what you're gonna do it's gonna jump down Hopefully not hit that hard. And then there we go. Right about this part, and there's your rock. There you go. Okay, so we have your next rock location. It is located towards the bottom of the map, right here. There's your location, and right there, right next to the train car. Okay guys, we have your 14th rock location, we're almost there. You're going to go to the bottom part of the map as always, and you're going to go to this racetrack. You'll go to this top loop, and you'll be in this little haystack area, and the rock will be right there. Okay guys, we have another location for you, I'll show you on the map directly to the uh, dam site you're gonna go in the water to this point now to make sure you're in the right area sort of like this is kind of your general surroundings and you'll go straight down and then the rock is right there okay guys once you are done you will report to this house underneath the uh, dam site you'll go up to the attic once you get inside and then you'll go to this location. And you put down all your rocks. And then you will continue back during the night. Okay, guys, welcome back. And it is now nighttime. We have these stones activated. Okay guys, um, I'm back here for a short little clip. I just wanted to show you what exactly uh, this weapon did. 
Yeah, that's about what it does. Pretty great, huh? But yeah, that's just what it does. It blows up zombies. <laughs>